students today we are going to study the 7th chapter of our class 9th maths and crt textbook that is triangles so let's start with the introduction of the chapter triangle so let's start with the definition triangle is a closed shape with three sides so if we can see the structure figure of triangle it is a it has it has three sides and these three sides are in a uh, closed manner so it is a closed shape with three sides then triangles can be classified in two ways by side and by angles by side also triangle is 3 1 2 3 and by angles also it is 3 1 2 3 now we will study the types of triangles by side and then by angles first types of triangles by side first we will study about equilateral triangle equilateral equi equi means equal that means all the sides of the triangle will be equal it is known as equilateral triangle if i say this is 5 cm then this will be also 5 cm and this is also 5 cm if all the three sides of triangle are equal it is equilateral triangle then isosceles triangle isosceles in an isosceles triangle two sides of all the three sides are equal and one side is unequal if i say this is 5 this is 5 cm and this is 3 cm so these two sides are equal and one side is unequal we term it as isosceles triangle then is scalene triangle scalene triangle if we take in a scalene triangle all the three sides are unequal if i take a triangle this is 5 cm this is 7 cm and this is 6 cm so all the three sides are unequal it is termed as scalene triangle so these are the types of triangles by sides there are three types equilateral isosceles and scalene now types of triangles by angles so based on angles triangles can be acute right and obtuse acute angle triangle if i tell you you all know that acute angle is a angle which is having measurement less than 90 degree so here if i take 60 degree this is 70 degree and this is 40 degree means all these uh, uh, three measurements are less than 90 degree then it is an acute angled triangle then right angled triangle if one of the angle of the triangle is 90 degree that type of triangle is right angled triangle <clears throat> then obtuse angled triangle so if angle of the triangle is more than 90 degree <clears throat> here suppose if i take it is 120 degree that will be <clears throat> sorry obtuse angled triangle so angle more than 90 degree will be obtuse angled triangle so these are the types of triangles by angles now we will study about congruency of triangles so let's first study the definition of congruence congruence means equal figure whose shapes and size are both same if i take two triangles this this i name it abc and this is p q and r so if the shape and size of both the triangles is same this is 5 cm this is 5 cm this is 5 cm this is 5 5 5 5 5 cm this we can take more also as if we want to take 5.5 
but both should be equal so it means equal figures it could be two triangles or it could be more than two triangles whose shape and sizes are both same we term it as congruence or we term it as congruence triangles now we will study about criteria for congruence of triangles there are six criterias sorry five criterias for congruence of triangles first is sas here s is denoted for side and a is denoted for angle sas is side angle side sss is side 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 asa is angle side angle aas angle angle side and rhs is right angle r is right angle h is hypotenuse and s is side we will study about each of them in detail so first is sas sas is side angle side so if i draw a triangle this is a triangle if i draw it another one a b c p q r then side angle side this is the first side if side a and b if side ab is equal to side pq another side if i take this this one side ac is equal to side pr and angle means these two sides are equal of both the triangles angle so if i take angle this angle b and angle q if these two angles are equal then we term it as congruent congruent triangle the uh, what i say that the uh, symbol of congruence is equal to sign and uh, it will be like this way approx so it is congruent triangle two sides are equal here this ab pq ac pr and one angle is equal it is side angle side congruent triangle sss side 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 so A B C P Q R. If A B is equal to P Q, A C is equal to P R, and B C is equal to Q R. If all the three sides of both the triangle are equal, then it is side 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 congruent triangle. Then we will say it. Then A S A angle side angle. abc and pqr angle side angle if this if i take first angle b and angle q angle b and angle q are equal and angle c and angle r are equal and one side i will take as if suppose i take side ab and pq means side ab is equal to side pq angle b is equal to angle q angle c is equal to angle r that means it is angle side angle congruent triangle then aas abc P Q R. This is A A S. A A S is angle angle side. So as if suppose I take angle B is equal to angle Q, and angle R, sorry angle C, or we can take angle A is equal to angle P, and side A C is equal to P R. It is angle angle side. congruence triangle the congruent part should be equal then rhs that is right angle hypotenuse side so if i take this 
right angle means we have to take right angles 90 degree Ninety degree. A B C D Q R means here angle B and angle Q are ninety degree. Then one side and uh, the hypotenuse of a triangle are equal to one side and the hypotenuse of the other triangle. Then the two triangles are congruent. So this is ninety degree. Then the hypotenuse. This is known as the hypotenuse. This is the 90 degree. The uh, measurement where angle is uh, where the angle is measured 90 degree that opposite angle will be that opposite side will be the hypotenuse. So this side is 90 degree. So the opposite side will be the hypotenuse. So AC will be equal to PR. Then we can say that these two triangles are RHS congruent.